Okay, here we are, NAM 2012, and we're at the Moog booth. I'm standing here with uh, Jake Widgen, and on guitar we have... I'm Jason Daniello. Jason, and uh, we're gonna look at a couple things. He's playing a Moog guitar over here, uh, but there's a new uh, piece that they've got out uh, uh, from the Moog Fugger line uh, called Cluster Flux. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's our newest uh, Moger Fugger. We began shipping in the fall, but this is its NAM debut. And it's basically a, a time modulation pedal that brings you really good classic flange and chorus effects, also some good vibrato, based on a very short range bucket brigade chip delay. So as we all know, it's got that really fat, juicy, warm sound. Uh, it's, it's a quick delay, you know, not, not completely audible, like an echo, but as we modulate the delay time, have it swirling back and forth, we get these really rich chorus and flange effects that are totally different from uh, from what you're used to hearing from a digital chorus. They're really fat, really warm, nice body, extremely vocal, almost reminiscent of a rotating speaker, you know, Doppler kind of sound. So I'm gonna turn it on now in a flange range. Uh, so it's a very short delay, mix all the way up and let uh, Jason play us some chords on the Moog guitar to hear the flange sound. We can add feedback to get a nice wet flange, get some metallic tanky sounds, or clean it back up. And you can actually add negative feedback to give it a little more hollow tone. Emphasizes a few different harmonics than on the positive side. And like any great Mogerfoger, it can be driven into self-oscillation uh, so you can experiment and really make the spaceship land. Exactly. So that's one really cool thing about the pedal is that it's MIDI compatible. So you can MIDI sync the rate of the LFO. You can also control all the knobs on the face of the pedal via MIDI. Another thing that makes it extra special is that the LFO has six waveforms. So we can do sine and triangle, but we can also do a square chorus or flange. Gives it a little bit different sound, a nice punch in and out. and then ramp each way, and then also a random sample and hold to give you some really trippy. And then a must have for guitar players is tap tempo. There we go. And so. So that rate can be set, like I said, by MIDI sync, by turning the knob, or by pushing uh, tap tempo. OK, and w uh, when is it going to be released, and it, what price point are we looking at? We've already started shipping these this fall, okay. looking at uh, $5.99 retail. $5.99? Yeah. There it is, lots of fun playing, making new sounds on your guitar, or really any instrument you'd like to. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.